So here we go, the first quarter. Listen to that roar. First quarter of the 1979 Grand Final. Not a bad bounce from the umpire. Peter Moore tried to get the big tap out, but he couldn't do so. Perce Jones taps the ball out wide. Carlton go forward. It's driven up by Johnston to the Blues half-forward line. McCormack's in front of Brown on this occasion. Oh, Worthington went over there pretty solidly, but the umpire called play on. Picked up by Brown. He shoots the hand pass, but over the head of Fitzpatrick. By gee, this is going to be slippery this afternoon. A free kick being paid, and let's see which way it's going. It's going to Billy Pickin. It'll be Shaw against Jones. Knocked out by Shaw. Mackay kicks it off the ground. It bats a mark. A mark there to Barham, right on the edge of the boundary. And he'd be about 30 metres out from goal. A very difficult shot for a right footer. Ricky Barham, the speedster. No, he nearly he hesitated, nearly went for a pass. He's gone for a pass to Rene Kick in a better position. That gives Collingwood a chance to score here because he'd be about 40 metres out from goal. The kick is a good one. Is it going straight? I think it... Uh, one point, it veered off at the last moment. That's the first score of the match coming at the three-minute mark. Towards half-forward now for Collingwood. Actually, it's out towards the weak position. It went off the side of his boot. Doolan Edwards. Oh, beautifully done, Bruce Doolan. Using the body to perfection. Almost caught with the ball. Great pick-up from Edwards, who fires the hand pass out. Looking down there for Barham on the run. Barham covered by Young. Jesselenko in there. Gives it almost to Southby. Back to Young. In comes Renee Kink, used a bit of weight, down went Young, in goes the weight, Brewer's in there, Young is out cold. But a fair bump, I thought. Careful, Renee, you're gone, son, you're gone. Very stupid, absolute stupidity from Kink. Moore got the knockout. Francis going after it now, Burn right on his tail, a hand pass coming back to Anderson, but he missed the ball altogether. This is Wearmouth now trying to pick it up. Back it goes there to Worthington, he's in trouble, he's grabbed. Got a kick out, and we see a chance for pick and grab too high. Oh, oh down he goes with Johnson going in pretty hard. And oh. down goes McClure trying to get over. This is a tough game, this one, Bobby. I'll say, Lou, and this is a, it'll be, I think, the side that settles down the quickest after all of this that can, might get the break. <laughs> Anderson there, the wing player for Collingwood down there at half back. Has an easy run in for the kick, boots it long, looking there for Edwards. He's too good for a duel and a beautiful mark. I just fancy that Carlton has settled down a bit better than Collingwood. They have at the moment, uh, Lou, but Collingwood still look dangerous each time they go forward. There's the kick by Edwards, looking there for uh, Weir Mouth. Oh, he's got one on the back. I think he played for that. He did, but he... Uh, I think he played for it, but he's got it, little Wernie Weir Mouth. It was their star last week. The and he's only about uh, 20 metres out from... Well, we'll wait for this shot now. Weir Mouth lining him up. We'll see whether they can get it through. The kick. He's put it right through the middle. And Collingwood getting the first goal of the match at the 16-minute mark. Of the Collingwood goal, almost the identical position that Weirmouth scored their first goal about five minutes ago. Knocked down by Fitzpatrick to Buckley. Buckley up towards the centre uh, square area. McClure into the back of his opponent, Billy Picken, who is at, uh, at half forward, actually. Well down the ground, chasing a kick. And there's no doubt about that. McClure right into his back. And Billy Pickens, certainly a fiery character. We saw him in a little bit of a dust-up with Sheldon not one minute ago. Here he is, half forward, a little bit short of it. A long kick from Picken. Mackay at the back, fisting it away again. Snapshot for goal by Olsen. Looks good, it's a goal! So Collingwood's second goal coming up at the 22-minute mark. Leading Carlton, three behinds, three points. Kicked off the ground by Byrne, back over to Olsen. A hand pass to the wrong man, and Sheldon's got it now. And Buckley slung Olsen to the ground. It's on between those two now. They're having a box on it half forward. Up towards the full forward side. It's a mark to Carlton. Fitzpatrick has got it. 20 metres out, directly in front. In he comes, fires. Oh, what's he done with it? It looks all right, I think. Hit the post. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hit the post. Four points to Carlton. Maybe it's not going to be their day. He was caught when not in possession. A Collingwood free kick will go to Andrew Ireland. Magro. The Carlton supporters don't like him. Magro short pass out to Ricky Barron. Let's see if the speedster can pick it up now. Away he goes. Oh, beautifully done, Ricky Barron. Gets around Young superbly. In he comes now. He'll fire at the goals, I think. No, he's gone for a pass. Up towards Kink, who's now Mudbus batted. Edwards is there. Oh, free kick. 
in he comes Edwards 35 meters out directly in front Jones on the mark he fires go umpire moving across I think he may have missed it it's one point by South but he's found uh, Jazalenko he's grabbed it gets it along the ground more can't pick it up Jones goes for a soccer job down there and a mark a beautiful mark to Billy Pickett a magnificent mark Billy Pickett out there on the wing position he boots the ball long over the uh, half forward line the pack fly punched out the Jezelenko again scouting out well and he boots there's the siren for the end of the quarter going 28 minutes Carlton I should say four points only you get that yes. here we go for the second quarter of the 1979 grand final umpire Kevin Smith coming in to bounce the ball to start the term Moore a long tap out picked up by Klomp and tackled solidly over goes Edwards an accidental trip so no free kick payable there and the umpire wisely deciding to ball it up Jeff Southby with the ball to kick it out from fullback still tempers a little bit frayed as Carlton's ace defender puts the ball back into play he goes straight up the center of the ground big pack flies and the mark is taken by Olsen a Carlton reject if we can use the word it's not a polite term but I guess it's applicable but Olsen certainly making his uh, presence felt here today he's got one goal on the ball already Edwards and Dool again picked up by uh, Davis and steps truly he's put it through magnificent goal that time by Davis read the play beautifully pounced on that and put it through for four Spur, uh, leading perfectly got away side of his boot over towards center half for a chance for Klump he grabs it on the on the rebound that time at center half back a long kick over to the center half forward burn goes for the punch it's successful the ball out wide going after it now is Francis Anderson's right on his tail a hand pass over to East Grant McClure but he recovers beautifully and he goes back again throws the ball away down it comes picked up by Keo. over there looking for Fitzpatrick Jezelinko's got it and he's well within kicking distance a chance to kick Carlton's first goal of the match the opportunity Lou to show real leadership well he's got to put this one through to lift the team because they're flagging by 17 points that's off the side of his boot and they still haven't scored a goal Carlton at the four and a half minute mark in he comes big purse not a good kick from Jones Olsen Jesselenko and McClure over the top was Pickin and picked up by Barry Armstrong the Carlton Ruck Rover Armstrong towards half forward knocked away Magro Keo Keo runs into the open goal fires it's a grubber offline and one point and the Carlton forward line looking anything but good back there towards centre half back as a go for McClure now he goes for a kick off the ground very foolishly should have picked it up a hand pass back to Moore. Another one back to Morris, but it's too long. Oh, bad play that time by Armstrong. Shaw knocks it out now to Weam out. And he's clear. He fires for the goal. Not a good kick, a chance for Barham. There'll be a free kick down the field here, I would say. And back, uh, back upfield uh, to Shaw. Sure. Sure. Yeah, he was interfered with after he kicked the ball. Is that right with, as he had it? But pushing the back, Lou. Pushing the back. About 50 metres out. This would be a darn good goal if he could kick this one. Because this would really lift the side. There we see a player dropping in short. He's found him. It's Andrew Ireland coming right down from that half back line. And too sure. And now Andrew Ireland from about 30 metres out. He's That's put it right through the middle. And that is that uh, Carlton have made a move. Uh, Jezelenko has gone to the back pocket and Harms to the centre. Well, it might add some bite to it because Harms hasn't been in the play his old side he'd be very keen to do well it wasn't such a good pass but nevertheless it's uh, still picked up by Peter Moore gets away from Fitzpatrick awesome again oh got a beautiful biff right in the side of the face oh he's out cold it's the replay again Peter as uh, Olsen Ke takes it oh and, uh, Keo really hit him oh if you don't mind seems to be all over the field we're seeing now Pete the value I think of the the rule that says the closest player to it and I think it's fair enough if Olsen couldn't take his kick at the moment it would be against Collingwood that's right so Moore takes it what a good kick it was Mackay flew high Mark De Boer. <laughs> that's judgment for you isn't it well actually uh, big uh, big Mackay put them all off he went up about a half an hour before acceptances now this should be a goal and it will put Collingwood further in front Brewer has yet to score one today he should alter that statistic very shortly. In he comes from 10 metres out, fires goal. 
Collingwood go further ahead with that goal to the former Melbourne player and they're looking good for the grand final at the moment. 5-4, 34 to Carlton. No goal, six behind, six points. And six. Young's there too and the umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to Young. He's off like a shot. Boots the ball, looking there for Francis, and he's got the mark. He plays on, getting away from Anderson. A hand pass back to Harms, and he's clear. A running shot for goal. Not a bad sort of a kick either. One point. They, by golly, they still can't get their first goal, and we've played 18 minutes into the second quarter of the 1979 grand final. Certainly been a dismal day for their forwards. They're moving him like a draft board at the moment. The ball goes back out there. Fitzpatrick flies, couldn't hold the mark. But the umpire's paying a free kick. Don't ask me what for. On the shoulder. Ball kicked across towards the full forward zone. McClure flying. Punched away again. Chance now for Sheldon to pick it up. Keogh's there. Hand pass coming out to Harms. A goal coming up this time. They're first at the 19-minute mark of the second quarter, Lou. In the Carlton play, and uh, this has been the... Still can't get it out. They're all having a bit of a go now. Finally, it's uh, Byrne coming away from that half-back line. He decides to go for a bit of a run. He better do something with it. Oh, smothered that time from uh, uh, Worthington. A bad bit of play. Johnson gets it out to McClure. A goal coming up, but he's off target. And he's put it out of bounds. Magnificent football by Wayne Johnson there, uh, Lou. And Worthington had uh, quite a bit of time, and Johnson showed tremendous courage to throw himself on the boot. Ball out of bounds, right against the point post. Moore getting up high. Buckley smothers the ball. He tries to come out of the pack. He's grabbed. He's collared too high. It'll be a free kick and a chance for Carlton's second goal to come at the 24-minute mark. Sure. Waiting now for uh, Buckley. Only about uh, 15 metres out from goal. Telling Ricky Barham, or telling the umpire for Ricky Barham to get out the way. He fires. And there's no doubt about that one, it's right through the middle. We're at the 25-minute mark of this second quarter. And as Lou suggested, possibly about three to three and a half minutes of uh, play left. We'll see. As we await the bounce again, Moore to Johnston. Right into that blue pot. Going through as Southby. Armstrong. He goes towards half forward. There's almost a mark to Sheldon. I think he's got it. Yep. Sheldon in front of Macro, Carlton looking a lot better now in the latter stages of the quarter. Sheldon's kick in turn towards the goals. Was that touched? Was it touched? I don't think so. It's a goal, I'd say. It is. It rolled through and just made it, didn't it? So Carlton right back into this match. That's what playing that as we see Morris come out of the pack. A hand pass to Shaw. He's in trouble as he boots the ball back there. But once again, it's Carlton in the way. And a good mark taken there by Klopp. He quickly plays on with a short pass. Looks out That's there. OK. And a mark to Armstrong. And he's off. He goes for another short pass. Out wide. And there's Fitzpatrick on his own. And Carlton are away now. He better kick it. He gets his kick up there towards the full forward zone. McClure has got the mark. It'll be a goal. Carlton. 7.31, only uh, five points. To... It's little Sheldon, he fires the ball up towards the halfback flank now for the Blues. In comes uh, Klump, hot on his opponent Anderson, it's tunnel ball. A hand pass from him out towards Johnson, Johnson picks it up on the run beautifully in front of Rayburn. A long kick by him up towards McClure again, McCormick's there with him, McClure, soccer tactics from him, up towards Buckley. He'll pick it up, will he? He'll kick it. Yes, he has! Carlton in front! Oh. What a second quarter! It'll be a ball up about 30 metres out from the Carlton goal. 32 minutes gone and Carlton are in front by one point after being 28 points down about uh, 10 minutes into this quarter. Knocked out that time by the big fella Moore. Going after it is Wayne Harms. He goes down. Sheldon can't pick it up, but he finally gets it out to Young. And there's the siren for the end of the quarter. And a half time of the 1979 Grand Final. The 1979 VFL Grand Final. The difference, one point. Carlton leading by that margin as we go into the second half of the game. We are mouth. Actually got the tap out from the ruck then after that uh, bounce went skew if. Picks it up pretty well too. Goes for a pass. Looking there for Harms. And a good mark taken there by Morris. They're on each other now. Uh, Jezelenko shifted himself away from Morris. Wasn't doing so well. And, uh, of course, we know the, the ability of Harms. Out there towards Edwards. Punched away by Duell. Over to Klopp. Who's that Rene Kinkwell cover. A chance for more to mark. They all fly. There's a good mark to McClure. A good mark.
And now he's only about uh, 25 metres to 30 metres out from goal. On a very slight angle, he fires at the goals. And it's not a bad sort of a kick either. And the Blues are eight points in front at the two-minute mark of this uh, third quarter. Third at centre wing. Collingwood badly needing a goal to get back their composure, which they lost in the latter half of the second quarter. Into the hands there of uh, Davis. The Collingwood full forward, fires at the goals. It'll land adjacent to the 10-metre square. Jesselenko got a hand to it, clumps there. Chance for Collingwood, a snapshot for goal by Shaw is off target and through for only one point. Boston and Duell. And of course, Klopp doing pretty well. There's Edwards at the back. Back to Ronnie Weirmouth. It's been pretty quiet today. Not a very long kick at all. The umpire calling play on. Morris hurries up to try as a mark. Got one in the head that time too. It'd be a mark there to Davis. Is it Davis? Got a kick in the head, but it was an accident. They still hurt. He's already kicked one goal. And this is a very important one to Colling with the ex-Carlton player, ex-North Melbourne, fires. And it's a goal, so it's a point the difference at the eight-minute mark of the third quarter in the 1979 grand final between Carlton and Collingwood. And Kenny Sheldon to take the mark and free kick. Call it what you like. He's going to take the kick from there anyway. He's already kicked one goal a little bit further out than David Mackay, so it would need to be a very, very good kick to, in fact, make the distance. Ken Sheldon, Carlton Rober, 50 metres out from goal. Not a good kick from Sheldon, dropping short into the square. Jones, has he got it? Purse. Well, there's no doubt about Percy Jones. He's a marvel. He's been one of the greatest uh, players for Carlton. He's an inspiration. By golly, he lifts the side, doesn't he? If he kicks this goal, they'll go mad. They'll pull the house down. Well, Lou, I reckon there are people that would come just to see Purse. Jones. If he misses, they'll still pull the house down too. <laughs> 15 metres out. Comes in and fires at the goal. No doubt about it. Purse, you put it through. So Carlton lead by eight points in the 79 grand final. 6-7-43. Well, that's that time by Wearmouth, a wild one, knocked away by Klopp. There's a chance now for the ball to be driven up by Carlton over their half-forward line. And a mark taken here by Worthington at centre-half back. Players, not many players down there on the full forward position for Carlton. Not a soul down there at the moment. A long kick by Worthington. It is a long kick. And Dill goes for the punch. It's successful. Back to Keogh. He's grabbed. He threw it away. It's finally pushed away by Sheldon over towards Ireland. He's clear as he breaks away and boots the ball down towards that half forward line. It falls short. Punched away beautifully by Fitzpatrick. Morris overran the ball. Carlson comes in. He takes a wide turn. He's away. He fires towards the goals. Up there towards Davis. Look at the mark. What a beautiful mark. What a beautiful mark by Davis. This will make it two points. Of and he's got it through. He kicked it through that quickly. Well, I was that wrapped in the mark. Put it right through. No doubt about it. Two well, points the difference on the halfback flank. That was beautifully done from Magro, and those things do take a lot of courage. Derek Shaw back on the field too. In the ruck. Marku. Marku for Carlton. Over to teammate Francis. Gets through Morris and also Carlson and fires at the goals. That's going pretty close. That's a goal. Well, that's just about goal of the day, isn't it? I'd reckon. I'd like to see. Starting to look a bit better now, Renee King. Just the same, isn't he, Bob? Well, uh, he, uh, he's picked up a couple of kicks in the last uh, moment of play because he's getting in front of Klomp, but Klomp's still putting a lot of pressure on him. More from behind. Couldn't take the mark. Davis is in there also. Southby, always safe in defence for Carlton, goes towards the muddy centre of the ground. They all missed the mark there. Mackay and McCormack. Now towards Fitzpatrick. Away he goes now, Fitzpatrick. Pretty fast for a big fuck. Oh, a long kick up towards McClure, who's got the set and almost took the mark. Sheldon racing into goals and puts it through for the Blues. Ken Sheldon's second goal and Carlton looking good. What a great piece of play as we check the scores. Collingwood. Billy picking at full back. 29 minutes gone. And Carlton in front by uh, 15 points at the moment. Umpires found a free kick. It'll go to Carlton. Ricky Barham's not too happy about that. Look at him going quick at the umpire. This gives Young a chance to score a goal because he's only about 35 metres out on the right side for a right footer. Not a bad sort of a kick either. It's coming around beautifully for a goal. Things are not looking too good for the Magpies at the moment. 29 and a half minutes gone. And gone to a handy lead themselves since. 
I think we'll see another ball up, 30 minutes gone, in fact in excess of in the third quarter. So the siren imminent here at the Melbourne Cricket Ground as we await the ball up. It'll be thrown in the air by umpire Bill Dever. he couldn't bounce it there. Fitzpatrick, there's the siren, it's three-quarter time in the 79 Grand Final. Final quarter of the 1979 Grand Final at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. And tap down. Armstrong back in turn towards the centre wing position. Keogh on Ireland and he got one for his corner. Right on the ear. Trevor Keogh. Looking for Mackay. In front and takes the mark. One of the best aerialists in the VFL and he'll drive Carlton deep into attack David Mackay. He's gone for the long kick. Looking for McClure. Pick him! Oh, what a mark! The mark of the grand final. Look at that. What did you think, Lou? Magnificent mark. So 20 points the difference as Jeff Southby prepares to boot the ball back into play. More up high. Uh, uh, Anderson pursued by Francis. He fires at the goals. It's well off target though in towards the 10 metre square. Davis. Davis snaps for goal. That's coming around. OK, it might be a goal. No. Yes, it is. Collingwood's still in the match. Davis's fourth goal bringing light to the magpie heart. And he says, let's go, see if we can get back into it. It's Moore and Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick got the tap out. Harms is there, it goes past him, but he was expecting the hand pass and didn't get it. Wearmouth, away he goes, Ronnie Wearmouth, and Collingwood supporters haven't given up yet. Look at this little fellow go. Ronnie Wearmouth, straight through the glue pot, goes for the par, successful Carlson. Lee Carlson, 55 metres out from goal, and he's directly in front. In the goal square, Edwards and Davis. With Ray Shaw as we watch the kick, look at that! It's a goal! Oh, what a great kick from Carlson, and the Magpies are back in the Premiership fight! What a kick! Fitzpatrick ready to drive it deep down there towards that half four. There's Mackay coming out. This looks dangerous. Mackay at centre half four. They're in front by eight points. 11 and a half minutes gone of the last quarter's a lead coming up there to, to McLuhan, a great mark. He got away from Pickham that time. And he's well within kicking distance. He'd be about uh, 40 metres out if that. And McLuhan's already kicked two goals. He knows this is a vital kick. Comes around too far. Umpire set through for one point. So the difference is nine points now. Fitzpatrick to Klomp. And Klomp well shepherded. His kick up towards half forward. Morris is there. Johnston's there. He's caught. A hand passes to Harms. Back to Johnston. Danger for Collingwood as Johnston lines up the goals from 30 metres out and he's missed. And so that makes the difference 10 points in favour of Carlton. A chance for Klomp, but King's still in there fighting his heart out for Collingwood. Buckley. In comes little Anderson, over to Wearmouth, Collingwood still fighting hard, Wearmouth up towards the full forward side, oh great mark brought in by uh, Peter McConville, that was a ripper, in he comes, it'll go around the boundary line, Olsen in the front posse, Fitzpatrick up high, tried to tap the ball clear, it comes to Ireland, over to Anderson, to Kink, he lines up the goals, it's sailing goalwards, the difference is four points! it through 75 well anything can happen now because there's only he's really lifted his game back to the center fitzpatrick and more it comes out to Olsen. he gets the ball back towards collingwood's half forward has a chance a good mark there to barham and collingwood ready to go into attack a hand pass down to magro up there towards the full forward zone davis there punched out by jezelenko and the ball is out of bounds in the forward pocket position this crowd oh jezelenko's hurt his leg that's bad news He's limping badly. Don't tell me he's got to go off the ground because that'll be a sad blow to Carlton. Just Jezelenko coming off. He looks in pain too. He's only got 17 on the ground because Brown's come off. Jezelenko has, as you can see, him being carried off the ground. Well, Brown, Brown not realising that he's, he should be out there. Jezelenko getting uh, a huge round of applause as he comes around the boundary line. But back to the play. Moore got high. Tried for the screamer. It didn't work though. Anderson grabbed when not in possession. He must get a free kick, surely. No. It's going Carlton's way and it will be taken by Francis. Francis up from the back pocket, goes for the long kick. Towards the centre wing position, Johnson was behind the pack. It's socket away by Keogh. Down towards the half forward line, Harms tries to pick it up. Buckley gets it out to Harms now. He's pursued by Brewer, but he can't catch him. Harms fires at the goals, but he's off target. 
It's rolling towards the boundary line and Harms almost makes ground. He tips it back to Sheldon. That's a goal! Oh, what a goal! If you don't mind, Harms is almost as quick as the kick. That's his third, Sheldon. Oh, that was the goal of the match. Driven back by France, a chance for Brewer to mark again. A hand pass to Moore, pulling it, trying to get it down there. It's a shocking kick off the side of the boot. Out it goes to Ricky Barham. He's away from his opponent. And look at him go. He's trying to bounce the ball. He's actually bounced. He got one in the back. It'll be a free kick to Ricky Barham. A clever free kick, though. We're at the 25-minute mark. It won't be a long quarter because there hasn't been many goals kicked for the quarter. Four goals, so I'd say about 29. Well, there we see him pushed him in the back. No doubt it was a free kick that uh, Duell desperate just to try and stop Barham. The kick by Barham is up there, not doesn't reach the distance. They all fly, they go high. A chance now for uh, Olsen to get out. Oh, there's an Olsen out there, he finally gets it. He said he threw it, and he's not too happy about it either. He looks more like Al Jolson, his face is covered in mud. <laughs> and it's Klopp who's been a very good player for Carlton. Well, there's been a lot of good players for both sides. It'd be unfair to say that. There's uh, flying high was Harms, over to Francis, and Francis is clear as he drives the ball wide out there, looking there for Sheldon. Burns going up, and Sheldon's got a chance here, they both go down. Burns first to recover, right to Brewer again, Collingwood still trying to get it up there. And a mark to Andrew Ireland out there on the wing position, 26 minutes gone, and still Carlton 10 points in front. Ireland up towards half forward, and McConville, has he taken the mark? No! Wearmouth's got it over to Edwards, the Carlton fans weren't too happy with it. Edwards runs it and fires at the goals, and what's he done with it? I think he's missed. No, it's a goal! The difference is again four points. Any team can still win the 79 Grand Fist. I thought he'd missed that one, however, it's four points the difference. Peter Moore taps the ball out, taken away by Harms. He goes towards right half forward for the Blues. The Magpies need the next goal, and if Carlton get it, it'll wrap it up for them, I'd suggest, with 27 minutes gone for the final quarter. There'd be about two or three minutes to go, Peter. Well, not long. Any team can still win it. Moore and Mackay. Picked up by Byrne. And he doesn't get it too far, though. There's uh, Wearmouth falling into the back of Buckley, who gets the kick in over towards the half-forward line. Ireland and Harms. The ball tapped away. Is it a free kick? No. Play on, says the umpire. It's scooped out to Armstrong now. Armstrong, quick to get boot to ball, up to Mark McClure. McClure with a chance to wrap the game up. He gave it to Mackay with a bad hand pass, though. Peter Moore and also Brewer in there. Here's Mark who, this could wrap it up, he fires, he's missed! Five points the difference at the 27 and a half minute mark. Five points the difference, it's 11-16, 82 Carlton, Collingwood 11 11 77. I tell you what, it's not enough to give a commentator a heart attack, a short pass out to Brewer. And he's been a pretty good player since moved out of that half-back line. Collingwood trying to get it around there. As it go for Magro, he's going for the mark, but the umpire set a free kick for interference. 28 minutes gone. So is there time for Collingwood to get up? They're five points. There's the final, and Carlton have won the 1979 Premiership. The score, the final scores. Carlton 11-16, 82. Once again, Collingwood the prize.